No, we, we don't, we want to be. All right, everybody. Not lights. With IC Buzz, we got your Erin County Hornet. All royalty cowboys. Uh, we got about 21 minutes until this game starts, but we're all excited, and we are going to have our, our uh, third amigo with us. We will have uh, Don Caffell um, on the oh, broadcast. There he is. Oh. Yo, brother. There's your little mic. Um, he was getting some uh, rosters and some other things for us. So Last week to see um, the Hornets have one heck of a football game, and, and you probably saw um, in standard times and all the different awards that for us. He, he had, what is it, five touchdowns? Six total. Five rushing touchdowns, 300. How many yards was that? 341 yards. Yeah, so, I mean, being effort from uh, Wyatt, but the rest of the boys obviously had a great game. They really put it on last week. Even though it was a long trip, it was well worth it to, to see what the, the Hornets put on the football field. Definitely. Um, it was good to good to make that long trip. And, you know, the first half was quite a game. It was a really close game at halftime. Um, at halftime and pitched a shutout in the second half, which was uh, <clears throat> very, very needed. And uh, and just, just got them playing playing the way they needed to be playing. So. Absolutely. I mean, that's had a 20-point lead um, in the first half and then a couple of uh, – um, that Lakey threw um, to get them caught up, but the, the story was the defense in the second half. Um, so it was it might, probably mad dog change. Some personnel adjustments probably here and there, um, but everybody else just did tremendous. We just wanted yeah, to do, do, a little, do the swipe on the. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Got a little swipe thing going on here. Swipe to get the, the SD card thing off of there. There you go, just push. There we go, we're good. So, uh, a few minutes left. Um, I don't know that much about Grand Falls coaching. You might, Chad, you might, but I Maybe to halftime, or should the boys take care of business early on? You know, you never want to jinx. To be honest with you, if we take care of business, it, uh, it you know, I feel like we are by far the better team out there. Nothing away from them, from Grand Falls Royalty. There, gosh, I think they might be three and two or, or something like that. Uh, they've they've got some wins. Um, Tom McVeigh, he's been around a long time. He's the head coach over there, um, so uh, he's going to definitely bring something to the plate and, and have these kids playing well. And, and he's kind of turned the Grand Falls program around in the last few years, and because uh, they were they were kind of scraping bottom there for a few years. Right. picked it up and I think that's kudos to Tom McVeigh you know in the job that he's done um, and uh, they're definitely going to be ready to play so no I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it and because every game like we, we always come into it six man so if you have a stud here or there that doesn't really matter how the program's been doing you know you get some personnel in there that are running well they're, they fly around on defense you, there's no telling what happens in that ball game and and we've seen it the last few weeks. Um, you know, we're, we might be expecting one thing, but it ends up being a, a tougher task. So, agree. We don't want to jinx it, but um, we have a lot of confidence in our boys. Cause I, and I hope last week gave them a lot of confidence. Well, and, and a very, very respectable record uh, coming into the night. And like you said, you know, yes, we made the state semifinals last year. Um, it, it's been run since Erie County's come back to six-man football. But I'm telling you, the talent that's on this football they, they, I don't, I don't want to step on any, any toes here, but these, these kids that are on this field right now and uh, made the playoffs. And probably should have. I don't, and, I don't yes. know what the coaching decisions were last year, who was making those decisions. But, <laughs> uh, there probably a few things could have been adjusted, but... Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> there might have been a few messages that were sent in. <laughs> With friends things. like yeah, these. Yeah. You had so many coaches in the stands that could have helped you out last year. If, so you, if you just fully listened. I had several 
coaches in the stands that tried to help me out last Every year. Once in a while, you got to call for help. <laughs> and phone it a friend. A I think that's the phrase I've heard somewhere. I didn't have very good service from after the game Friday night till at least Monday evening. I, my phone just didn't seem to work much. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, uh, even when you were down on the field, you didn't have good service, did you? No, yeah. no, not at all. It's like a bowl. <laughs> you know, just get in this valley. Yeah. I mean, you kept checking your watch. I don't know what that was about. It time, like something. time, clock management. I thought you might have got a message here and there, right. but you're not. Right. Clock management. When your you know, head coach is looking at a watch, it's always clock management. Clock management. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Speechless. It's, it's the it's I I I uploaded the coach you know foot coaching football for dummies on my watch. <laughs> Beautiful weather. Everything's been great. And I wanted to add to what you were saying as far as this coach and, and as far as Grandpa's royalty coach mm -hmm. building the program. Mm -hmm. um, that Grandpa's royalty junior high team, they're, they're going to be a great team. Yeah. Uh, and, and some to do with that. Right. No, no question. You know, you got to build the culture when you come into a place. And, and that culture, Grandpa's back. You know, I don't remember ten years ago or so. Um, they were. Can we turn in a phone? Yes, ma'am. Right in here. Red one. And in and and and, uh, and then that talent went away. And you know, we all oh, programs go through ebbs and flows. And uh, <clears throat> you know, unfortunately, the coaching staff sometimes changes. In those situations, and that makes it tougher for that for that school to climb back out. Um, but uh, you know, just like we can see right here with our boys right now, we've had a great four years, and they're continuing that winning tradition. Uh, and and they're gonna. I mean, you just look out on the field, man. And we got a lot of talent, a lot of young talent too. Come on, get some national anthem, and and I'm kind of excited. My daughter gets to say. Honestly, this is a great tradition that was started a few years back. And pretty darn awesome, because uh, it's really where the programs are built. People don't understand that. I mean, it, it, and it might be a little frustrating to sit here and wait, but that see them football boys right there lined up for them. Absolutely, those are, um, those are, those are their heroes. You bet, man. Good stuff. Presley's doing some awesome uh, backflips over there. Mm -hmm. We got some talented cheerleaders. Jacob Acosta leading the way. I can't even begin to name all those uh, kiddos. There's a, lot of little <laughs> there's a little one running. <laughs> but the Hornets about to fly through. I think they're going to get set up to run through the tunnel as well. <clears throat> just uh, about 12 minutes left and before the game gets going. But we wanted to get up and running so that no one misses uh, anything other than the video. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that we're doing it right. Maybe we need some shout outs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
We need to make sure everybody at home is being able to watch it. That's true. to watch some football tonight. Thank you for the coaches, sponsors, and parents for devoting their time and effort to encouraging these players in all their endeavors and molding them to be the best they can be. Lord, we pray for safety for these athletes, the ones on and off the field, and that we may all show your love and kindness through great sportsmanship. We thank you for your never-ending love and grace. May we glorify you in all that we do. Amen. Oh man, gonna pat himself on the back. <laughs> Good job. All right, just. I'm excited. Is there a sleeper you guys think's gonna happen? I mean, well, oh, Lightning Lauder Mill. You clearly got White Money Morris. You got the Rector. You got Parker Post. Anybody else you see that might make his last series, maybe Mason Stiller mm -hmm. came to play and right. made some major on, on defense. Uh, he might have played some offensive snaps on the line, I didn't notice, but he definitely made some uh, difference on defense. But who's big playmaker this game? Man, it, it's hard to go away from your money, Morris, Lightning, Lotter Milk. It's easy to call their names, it really is. Um, but uh, I think coming for a big game tonight, because if you remember first game of the season, who had that big game that first game of the season? You know, it wasn't, wasn't that the game he had, uh, gosh, five, six catches and, you know. Right. Uh, defensively, he was going And defensively off. going off. Uh, and, man, you brought up <clears throat> El Gallo. Is that El that kid, we kind of we expected him to come up and, and be a contributor, but man, I'm gonna tell you, not not at the level that he has done. He is he has become one of the guys and and a sophomore young man getting it done. Well, and he talked about it. We had our interview with him and I did, but uh, the work he put in and all the kids. We've talked about this several times. The amount of work they put in this off season, um, and 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 I don't really know, you know, his strength and speed and stuff that he had. Last. A lot of people just see the outcome; they don't realize the effort and the work they put in to, to every one of them out there, especially number two. Um, get them, got them rolling this summer. Um, so man, Parker, that 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 we've talked about with Parker in the past that started from his eighth grade year to his freshman year. He started it then and transformed his body because he wanted to play. He's continued that work ethic, which is which is awesome. You know, and back on uh, Kyle Olivon's interview, I love what he what he said. You know, it, uh, maybe I'm a little little emotional because my son just graduated, but I love what he said about him and his dad. Right. You know, that's <clears throat> that's awesome. All that work and everything, and then him plugging plugging in there how him and his dad, his dad worked with him. On, on receiving skills and stuff like that. Uh, that's, that's, that's special stuff. And for all you dads out there, boy, it does. Absolutely. And it means a lot to these boys. So, yeah, no, pretty cool. And, and, and you're on time. 
mentioned that several times. Not, and we didn't get to do interviews and stuff last year, but he's brought that up. Of, you know, and he. Appreciate so, uh, it. It's 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 fun to see, but it does make a difference. Um, clearly, it is for Kyle and it's good for Travis. Here comes baby daddy blocker. Uh -oh. There he is. Yeah, there the he new is. daddy got a baby. Ooh. When was that? Tuesday. Yesterday? Tuesday. Yep. yep. So and I believe she is tuned in in the hospital. <laughs> Love to be able to get the video up and going. We're going to work on that, but at least she's being able to yes. listen. To how Maybe we should get a video of just Coach Blocker. Oh, just get him calling the plays up there. She and, would oh, like she that. Would love that. Yep. I'm not sure everybody else would, but she Man, would like that. Oh, Lukey McDonald. Skippy. Yeah. Who is that? That's Bolton's all decked out in some uh, pink gear tonight. There we go. Looking pretty cool. We have always we talk about this before, but if you happen to be tuning in on YouTube, please make your comments. I, I know unfortunately we can't film the game. Play, but if you want any kind of shout out, you want to talk about the broadcast, about the boys, and just please. Tune into YouTube, put your comment up. And What's all this purple smoke? Well, well that's, uh, that's <laughs> a run. Um, Grand Falls is burned in the second half, so. Lee Morris. No, I do not see one of them. Number 21, Jaden Martinez, teeing it up. So he's definitely looking like it's onside based on his uh, lineup. There's no second ticker. And it is onside, going to the right side. Man, I saw one person. Parker Posey picks it oh up. He's yes, running sir. on the right side. No one's catching him. A heads up play by Parker Adios. Posey. Touchdown, Hornets. So that took about seven seconds. He's already starting. Absolutely. Uh, he, he start from that. So a little bit of little bit of rule rules here on that situation. That ball was illegally touched. And and Parker gets a free roll at that ball because it was already touched. Extra points are up. And, yes, and you might notice, guys, and, and sorry, Coach, we'll get back to what you're no. saying, but we're kind of zoomed in on the scoreboard so you get the time because we can't film the game. So you're going to get the time and the score and everything, and, and just let us know if you're able to read it properly. Uh, we're going to still call out the time and the, the score, but hopefully. So it legally touched. So it, it, even if he fumbled it, whatever, it doesn't matter. It, even point. if he fumbled it at that point, it's still Hornet ball because it was illegally touched, which makes it a free ball for us. So it's a smart play to go ahead and try to field that, even in traffic. And and and, and that paid off. So for it's like an offsides touchdown. on defense, free play, just, just bingo. Go yeah, it. yep. I will say, I, I I threw up Michael Hegwood here. He was watching us at the Lakey game as well. So. Thank you. Thank you for shouting out. You bet. You're here again at, at home at, 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 at Erion County, and so we uh, just wanted to make sure you saw that. Oh, Billy Smith. Uh, we, Billy's a, a popular. Good. We need to give him like a, a follower of the year or something because he's been uh, really contributing, doing lots of shout outs. But if you, someone was saying they, they it's been cut now, please, anybody that's there, let us know because we're using the Wi Fi here. We might need to switch it to something else, but if it keeps cutting out, um, there's yeah, a, we, we can change over to hotspot. I mean, we can we can do. It. Just let us know if you if it's cut down too much. Hopefully, uh, we're going off the the Wi-Fi they have here. If not, we'll go off the. <laughs> we, we live out in. The you know you know who else is reliable? Who is reliable? Texas Select Insurance. <laughs> Oh, Courtney McCutcheon, that guy's reliable. Oh, speaking of which, we got to get his uh, overlay going here. Get him. Oh, that's bam. Geez, I knew there was something yeah. else that we, we forgot. We can. He takes care of everybody. That's kind of his job, right? Well, and, <laughs> and no one you, does take care of. You talk about being reliable. The guy. Our new home. 
I mean, oh, right off the top. Johnny yeah. on the spot. Yeah, I mean, All right, right. Grant falls back to pass. Tipped by... Seller, <laughs> number 11, <laughs> that, with a tipped pass. That guy's got a darker tan than Trevin Yeah, Gilfield. Yeah, Trevin needs to go hang out at the beach a little bit more. But uh, <laughs> a great... We just brought him up last week. He made. He was a huge contributor right off the bat. Gets so, that tipped pass. So now it's second and 15 um, on the 38 um, for Grant Falls. And that's another soft. Switch over to a hot spot, AT&T, with the cell phone. We're, we get, we're getting the signal that it's a little bit choppy, so bear with Everybody knows, but we're we're down to get that handled, um, and hopefully there, there might. That was a direct snap to the spread back, so he couldn't run. He dumped right off the fingertips of the Hornet. Yes, I mean they're they're getting their hands up. They're trying to disrupt these passes. So, so in this spread back, just a little history. He you is pretty have to shifty. Stop it, I believe, and go back. That's the only way to. having some connectivity off uh, issues, but the cool news is I think we get to film this game now uh, because there were some uh, some issues going on with the NFHS, so we're going to film a home game tonight, which is uh, twice a surprise and a good thing for us, so I don't know if anybody's ever been able to uh, tune in and see what we're doing, uh, but we should be live now, hopefully it's not too choppy, um, but we are going to be going to film the game. Uh, so it's third and very long for Grand Falls. Five longer. <coughs> oh, we got a little uh, penalty action. False start. Action, huh? False start on the Cowboys. False start on the Cowboys. On the tries. All right. Um, we are back. This is the best we can do with the Wi-Fi situation. So we want to move it over to get full. take over very deep. Makes one guy meal still running. Enough for a first down. Cut the field. Down the middle. It's a foot race. Stiff arms the guy. Adios. On his feet. Adios. Touchdown Hornets. What a run by Wyatt Money Morris. 76 many, yards. 76 yards and how many blocks? Yeah, I mean, that was unbelievable. Mm. He was just shoving them off him, coach. Was a nice little cutback. I thought, I thought, ah, oh, he's fixing to get caught, and he just stopped on a dime and turned left. That we've been going back and forth. We're trying. Oh, it was a block, blocked extra point. Oh, caught. So it's twenty-two nothing. Hornets. Uh, just, just barely over seven minutes left in the. Uh, the this has been electric. I mean, there's been some big. Off of Money Morris? Yes, sir. Uh, and I'll tell you, that, that big hit by Posey, I don't know if it was on film, if we, we were having dif difficulties or not, but that big hit coming across the middle on a uh, little dump pass, and, uh, man, uh, they put a lick on number 11, and he went off uh, hanging that shoulder. No, sir. No, they have not. <clears throat> so we're working. We'll get the scoreboard up. And so far, Money Morris is just picking up where he left off last game. You bet. Hey, and think about this. We got a kick return for a touchdown. Right. We got a... Yeah. There was a scoop and score from scoop and Morris. And a 76-yard unbelievable rushing. run. Yeah. Stiff arm and everybody that got close to him <laughs> right. for a touchdown. So please let us know. I, I and yeah, I know we're dropping. Oh, we're just going straight with it, huh? Um, we're dropping some feed, so I know uh, it's probably skipping. Do apologize. Uh, Wi-Fi is not. But the uh, Cowboys are taking over very territory on their own 15-yard line. Good little squib kick. 
wasn't really an onside, but it was kind of a squid right. kick and got him deep. Pinned him real deep. Yeah. He's still playing at it. Dump off to number 13, but Lightning Laudermill and looks like Parker Posey tackle him pretty much at the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gained a yard. You know who that was? No, I guess James was on the other side, wasn't he? That was Rector yeah. that got cut. Right. Yep, you're right. No, you're wrong, DJ. <laughs> yeah, we, we still have a third here. I mean, there's a first time for everything, but I don't think I've been wrong not, yet. Not yet, huh? <laughs> Should have bring my wife in here. She'll let you know. Maybe when you're in an old folks' home, maybe you'll be wrong then, huh? <laughs> That's not too far oh, away. We got Wadsworth. Trying to get, they had to have looked at some film on that coach and said that's the only way we're stopping this guy. Yeah. Because that seems to be every block is going at the yes. knees. Yeah. He's got he's got to shut her down and 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 f take on that cut block right. and and keep that outside contained and push him to the middle to our middle linebacker. Um, and he'll figure it out. He's he's uh, he's probably chomping at the bit after getting 25 tackles. Got to be in on these tackles, and and uh, when you're when you get 25 in a game, you put in a full night's work. And what I love about it is, you know, the quarterback, the defensive court, or the offensive coordinator is just—they know about Keegan. They know he's going to be disrupting him, and that's who they're looking at every play. How the pass. Pick, 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 pick. Oh, Boom, off the hands of Iron Davis. It was actually the Indiana were both in yeah. great position, and it didn't fool anybody. Coach, they just ran with him the whole time. They, they ran the route just like the receiver did. Yes, sir. Um, looked like they were in that two deep set. And uh, not sure one of those guys shouldn't have stayed up with only one one receiver back in case one slips out late. But I right. bet you they'll fix that if that if that's the case. With single single receiver routes, they sure are easy to cover. And the Cowboys are running the spread offense here, Coach. They do have two backs with the quarterback, but everybody's spread out. It's going to host a very short punt. That's Bad probably punt. not I oh, and a not a good kick. They love it. Negative yard uh, punt, which you don't really want to go for. So now the Hornets are in just terrific field position. Yeah. Uh, they're on uh, Grand Falls 15 yard line. Um, so just first and goal right off the bat. You don't get that from a punt very often. No, sir. No. <laughs> That is for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Especially and when there's no return. That was yeah, a no, great return. No what are you return. About? I mean, but, yeah. All right, inside handoff, Parker Posey. He has it. He's going to stiff arm and walk in. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got twisted around, but they're giving him the touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown, yeah. Hornets. Yeah. A great run. I he had that one backer that was on his left side, but he saw him the whole way and just stuck his arm out and said, You're not tackling me easy. No. No, I was coming out and about stopping the bleeding here because the Hornets are, they're gashing them left. Yes, sir. Cutting through them like warm butter. And, uh, you know, I, Coach McVay probably needs to find a way to get the ball on the ground because he's stopping that clock yes, every sir. time he throws an incomplete pass. And you can see it, it, is, it is 30 to nothing. With a lot of time left. Yeah. I mean, it, there's, there's just under six minutes left in the first quarter. Yeah. And we are, I mean, you would be 15 points away from uh, the 45 point rule of six man, but there's a lot of clock. I mean, this could, I imagine Coach Harrison would probably be subbing some people out when we get up, uh, if, if the Hornets get up, you know, well beyond the 45 mark. Um, what, what, what do you do in a situation like this if you're on the um, Coach Harrison side of the field? All right, so you can't, you don't, you don't tell your kids to stop playing. You know, they still, they got to play. Uh, at, at, the, at this point, you play good base defense. Um, you know, 30 points is nothing in six-man football. Exactly. You, you, you know, but when you get to that point, you play good base defense and you work on the fundamentals of the game, you run the football, um, and you try to, you try not to add insult to injury. Right. You know, and, if it gets and, to that point. And, but for, to your point, you don't want to get complacent. No. Um, because it's got to be difficult at this point. They, they, on both sides, it's just been complete domination. Yes. Um, so you know the boys are excited and they're wanting to do this, but um, 
all it takes is a slip up here and there, and there's 14 points for the other team. Absolutely. Um, and we kind of saw that last week. Yeah. And like Tre Trevin just actually just texted me, and uh, he told me, he said, we are playing good defense. And that is. And then we have been since the second half of the last game. I agree. Oh, another, I totally uh, agree. Low kick is going to go into the end zone. There'll be a touchback. Um, was we, we was that Mason? I, I, that's a good point. I Coach. think I Mason kicked that. Kick that. Yes, we, they had to be because uh, T. Hindy always lines up to the onside. Yep. Someone else had to come in there and, and kick that. Usually Parker's <coughs> in that position, but that might have been a filler. Yep. And he was the first one down the field. He's got a little energy in him, doesn't he? Absolutely. <laughs> well, he, I mean, the last two games he's got a lot of playing time, which he hasn't, you know, right. had the opportunity. And he, just like Keegan last year, you get the opportunity and they run with it, and all of a sudden you found a little hidden gem that's, that you've probably seen a little bit in the practice field, but when they're in the game, all of a sudden they're, uh, they're someone they have to worry about. Yes. Another spread offense for uh, Cowboys. Looking to pass. Keegan. Wreckers all over him. No shot. Oh, it's going to be grounding. He tried to, yeah, it's going to be Intentional grounding. grounding. He kind of yeah. did a shuffle pass about five yards, but there's no one remotely around. So that's going to go down as a very deep sack. Um, going to be a second down and a mile. Yeah. So uh, just a great fundamental tackle by uh, Keegan. He wasn't getting out of his uh, grasp. And to Trevin's point, defense is, Kind of just taking over right now. Absolutely. Had to feel good to Keegan there. Getting the mix. Excellent. So, yeah, I, I hope the video is working out all right. Um, we're just going, we're losing the picture in picture, even though I know most people tune in just to see us. <laughs> but now uh, we're only going to see the, uh, the football game tonight. And it's quite the, uh, quite the outing for the Hornets. <laughs> oh, here he is back, again. Throwing deep. Got him T. Handy. T. Handy. Oh. oh! Great position by T. Handy. Just couldn't bring it in. Um, I, he he won. Like, you can tell his uh, body. Yes, he does. That gummit. That's two picks got away from you. But how can you? Uh, how can you complain about thirty to nothing? <laughs> it's tough, right? But the coaching you, you're always looking at improving oh, what you can do. Now, is that James or Daniel? I always That's that. James. That's James, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what is Chad? You go thing one, thing 12? Is that what yeah, you're trying to Yeah, thing one, thing 12, thing 12 is James. Ball, or a dump off, but Woo! there was three oh. right there. That was a lightning water milk, so he can cover some ground quick. <laughs> Great right. tackle. So, there's just, oh, I don't know what that uh, the ref was doing. Sorry, I thought it looked like he was saying full start, but I think he was just saying run the clock. <laughs> Light and lotter milk come across there like a torpedo through the air. You've never seen the pink fly so fast as that. <laughs> right? So they're smelling blood out right now. And, but they can only do it because the back end's doing their job. They're yeah. not letting anybody behind them. All right, it looks like Wyatt's going back. Uh, they're going to punt it. Let's here we go. Goes. A much better punt this time. Uh -oh. Right to Money Morris. Uh -oh. Makes one guy miss. Taking it on the right side. Uh oh. Let's see if he cuts it back. He does. He's just going to walk in, Coach. Told you. I, I'm telling you, that kid running ability has just gone to a new level this year. All right. I, I'm just loving seeing that. That's a, sorry. Touchdown, Hornets. There, there it is. Out. I was about to say. <laughs> it's, just, it's coming so often so fast. I don't want to miss it out. Sorry. Go ahead, Coach. Money Morris. Scoop and score. Turn for a touchdown. Scored three different ways. Yeah, he might be on the old standard times list again this he week. Probably needs. <laughs> uh, nice kick Atta by baby T. Hendy. T. Hendy. Well, okay, sometimes I'm wrong. It looks oh, good. my goodness. And once again, that looked like it was right down the middle, but our angle is soft. I mean, that was one of those that Courtney's usually excited about because that was going to hit a car back there. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of folks that are going to say there was some random. Dropping, dropping the dime, dropping yeah. the dime. The, the doses, right? The do yeah, deuces, <laughs> not doses. Deuces, right? Hey, no. oh, <laughs> deuces, the doses. deuces. I'm just seeing 30, <laughs> I'm seeing 36 to nothing, and I'm getting excited. Uh, I, I just, it's, 
amazing. I'm telling you, Wyatt is having quite the last couple of weeks. Yeah. It's just fun to watch. I'm still. Once again, we talked about the work they put in the offseason. He was one that the last couple has really put in some work. Um, and he was talking about. Watch last week's game except for through us, which uh, um, we glad she can tune in. But now she's in the audience, and you know she's so proud watching her boys Beaming. tear it up. It's exciting. Yeah, we do. We do. I mean, when when the Hornets are playing the way they're playing, you want. Just, so apparently, they found something in, in, in <laughs> practice and said, "Well, we know, you know we know Mason's got a leg, so we're gonna have him just boot it through the." Have everybody start deep in their territory. Uh, it's it's uh, worked out this game. It's hey, worked out great. And I'm going to tell you, he kicks the end zone, so it, it comes out to the 20 yard line, which is exactly what we want. But he kicks that ball like I golf. Them worm burners. Worm burners. <laughs> <laughs> Other than it hooking into the. the uh, That's the big, true. I hear there's a big golf tournament tomorrow. I hear there, there is. is. Oh, Ricky Ray's got the, uh, the annual golf tournament to support. Erin County's uh, golf team, um, so I know we're all, well, most of us are going to be out there. I was about to say most of us. Coach denied my invite, so. Oh, we got a fumble. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Lightning Laudermill gets to the quarterback, gets a sack fumble, but Grand Falls does nice. fall on it. Coach, I don't know. You've got to be a pretty fast quarterback to get away from Keegan oh, and Lightning Laudermill. That is a like, nightmare. How you, like, uh, that's a tough situation. Oh, what a nightmare to have to prepare uh, if you're the if you're the quarterback, spread back, anything like that. Shucks, man. Yeah, you're asking for any help to try to give you just any another tenth of a second to think. So, so now it is <clears throat> second and very long. It's it's another ten yards. It looks like that was on that sack fumble. Yes, sir. So uh, we're about twenty-five yards here. Shout out to Roe working the clock and everything. He's doing a good job over there. All right, they're looking to pass. Oh, they said we're not going to sit back there. We're going to have to run now. And a great pickup, but Wyatt Money Morris tackles him after a 10-yard game, so it will be third and 15. But, Coach, I don't think they want to sit back there and pass it. That quarterback, he took off running. It wasn't even a draw. It was, it, let's run now. We're running. Yeah. Running for my life. Are, 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 are you saying that Mad Dog Shane is, is he's ready? Yeah. He's had him a long work week, says it's time to get to the long weekend. All right, Coach. So are they running it again with this? Sure should. Uh, I, I imagine. And no, nope. no, they're looking to it's pass. A direct snap. Look at Keegan staying with that. It's a deep pass. There's a guy wide open. Number deep halves in that situation, and somebody left their half. I'm not sure who well, it was. Well, I saw there was there was someone that was on the hash that was covered up. So they had that covered, but the, on the on the, the sideline was wide open. So that is a first down for Grand Falls. That ball was in the air long enough. We should have got to it no matter where we were. However, you know, one number mistake 12, on the night. Looking to pass again, Keegan. Fighting off, he's gonna stay on him and a dump off to number 21 off of his hands. So that will bring up second and 15. Keegan's not happy with whatever situation happened there. Um, I don't, luckily he's talking to the coach and not the ref because he's a gentleman like that. He doesn't yep. usually uh, talk to any of the refs, so. I think Harrison's telling him he, because Keegan thought that guy crossed his face. So a lot of times when a, when a, when a back crosses your face, and that's your man. You're yes, supposed sir. to pick him up if you're in man. But Keegan's our main guy to go get the ball. And I think maybe Harrison's telling him, hey, forget about the guy crossing your face. We're in a zone. So let's get back to the spread back and put pressure on him. Right. And that's kind of what happened on that long pass, too. Keegan ran with his man. So that quarterback had more time to pass. Right. So, I mean, it's been working. Don't, let's not change it. Just go out. He's going to run. The quarterback ran up. Top Pick! Of, picked off. I'll bounce around. Loudermilk. Loudermilk. Had great concentration, Coach, because that yeah. was bouncing around off his shoulder pads, off his hands, but he was able to bring it in for a turnover. So now um, Hornets will take over on their own 32-yard line. Just a, a great catch. It really doesn't matter if you how you catch it. As long as at the end of it, you, you, it's in your hands, and now it really helps out. I'm yeah. sorry. I just got to show this real quick. We are still in the first quarter with three minutes left to play. Yes. Inside yep. handoff to Lightning Laudermilk. He's got some blockers out front. Great run. Great Very patient, patient run. run. He was following Parker Posey, who's one of the best blockers out there. So a big pickup. It's going to be second and short, just about four yards, three yards. 
We'll four. go with four, because that's what the sultry voice of the hornets just said. We'll take that kind of four. You got to go with that sultry baritone voice. Oh, it's, it's, I, I got to hear it during the junior high game today. Uh, it almost put me to sleep down there. Yes, it was so I, was, soothing. I, I was about to say it's like melatonin. It just puts you to sleep. Absolutely, lighter milk, lighter lighter milk, yeah, breaking tackles, ran right past everybody on the outside. He did get taken down, but not until he got inside the ten. So it's going to be first and goal based on a huge run by lightning lighter milk. Running and coach. At this point, it, it's not a tight game, right? When someone uh, see, I'm not very happy about this because I thought he did all that work. Give it to the man again. Let Colton run it in for a touchdown. I I, I would uh, have to agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or they're just trying to get the old standard times list again. <sighs> Give it to Wyatt, see if he goes in for another touchdown. 44 is in the and, game. Oh, it's a, it's a handoff. There you go. Wyatt's just forcing his way. He's being grabbed everywhere he can, but it was a nice pickup of about six yards. Um, Going to be second. Four yards till the uh, end zone. I can tell you this too. It's it's a possibility that Harrison's rotating the running backs two plays to two plays, you know, and you get uh, Morris in there to run it twice. That might be what he's got going. I don't know. Now, do you work on plays at this point, Coach? Absolutely. Could they do like clearly a run would probably be the better play, but they might do a fake to a pitch out or a pass to Tyler at this point. Pass. To Ty, no, to Jack Rose. Jack I've got the same. Rose. Let's go! 44 came here. Jack Rose, good concentration. Great pass by Aaron Davis. So a touchdown, Hornets. Yes, sir. 42 to nothing. Just over a minute left in this first quarter. T Handy going to put these extra points on, which will make it a 44 point ball game. Put in the work. Yes, sir. All four years. Uh, been been a been a grinder doing. He's just working his that, tail off. And that was good. I thought it went right, but T Handy. Another great kick. It was clearly high enough and far enough, so 44 0. Um, and just so everybody's aware, quarter in a minute left in this ball game, but. You can sell more hamburgers down at the concession stand. Yeah, support the old 6 or 8 class. Yeah. Speaking of that. Got the interception, had the long run. Coach, I mean, I would have just kept beating the kid. Get it. Get <laughs> time that he can, uh, he can run it. So why not? The well, just a little bit. And I think Harrison did that. So, but a terrific catch. Real happy and proud of uh, Jack on that one, that reception. Coach, there, you're not going to be kicking on time. Zero chance. There's not, there is. Yeah. If it was a tight game, that's one thing. And Mason, here you go. Left. Number two, I'm sorry. Is that, I can't even see what the number is. Yeah, that Nikki is Sanchez, Nikki Jr. Sanchez. Get this dude, uh, go the, pin there or back. You can send the wrecker. The wrecker. That's all you need to do. Well, you have that. That's a lot of speed coming out. <laughs> is, is, is that normally Colton's total, total position? Oh my gosh. There? And Lotter Milk yeah. lined up there. That is you don't think he's going to dial it in right now. And then you got Posey right in the middle in case oh. they decide. And then Wadsworth. Oh! Inside. Oh, nice! To get it to number two, who takes on the outside, runs out of bounds. Coach, that was a uh, Pat Mahomes S. Lotter Milk needs to. Get a little bit deeper before he breaks down, and allowed him to move left. Yeah. Um, and uh, if he before the support gets started. Uh, absolutely. All right, we do see the blinking light here, guys. So we're gonna get the batteries. Uh, drawing. Oh, is that is that gonna say fumble? Or are they gonna say incomplete pass? Incomplete. Well, so we're gonna go ahead and do the pit stop. Move. Um, I'm switching it over to. And this is just what we have until Chad gets it rolling um, on the other camera. It's second and it's a pitch. Look, 19 looking to pass. Has a man. Mason Stiller almost had it. Working on the camera, guys. For the receiver, so that will bring up fourth and fifteen. So DJ, you see how Colton and Keegan got? Yeah, they. I mean, they have probably two and a half seconds. They're strictly there to block Colton and, and Keegan, and they're having a hard time. Yeah. 
Oh, a little blitz action. Parker, that that had to have been a quarterback uh, spy there. I think they thought he, were, he was going to run it. All three of the guys back there. Uh, Parker was very patient when he saw the opportunity. That's that's the problem with that spread offense. If you're gonna if you're gonna be so throw throw heavy, pass heavy. On the near side of the field, typically that's gonna be a hold. Because if it's a false start, they usually blow it dead. Yep, yeah, Billy Smith, we did. Put a bandage on it, <laughs> coach. What is that call? It was it, it, it was offside. Too. It's Hornets. Okay, okay. It's Hornets ball, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And we have eight seconds left to score in this first quarter. Yeah, yeah. they. I guess they're gonna get the playoff. Um, nothing after the first quarter. A terrific quarter for the Hornets. I mean, dominate everywhere you can dominate. Only way is if your uh, your Wi-Fi is picking up. The phone, so maybe it would work. Well, here I can I can tell you if I can find you here.